Hey, and welcome to Star Wars 101. In this video, we're going to be talking about the Sith Lord, Darth Ramage. Darth Ramage spent much of his time in solitude, because he took it as his duty to advance the scientific aspect of his order. He did this to make sure the Sith that would come after him would be powerful enough and have powerful enough tools to destroy the Jedi and claim the galaxy. Over decades of work, Ermaj poured all of his knowledge of the dark side of the Force into his holocron, which he began to build from the first day of his reign as Dark Lord. This holocron was one of the most precious possessions of the entire Sith Order. Ramaj mainly focused on the study of two rare resources that were exceptionally powerful in the Force. He believed that if he could succeed in combining these two resources, he could unlock the secrets of time travel. Ramaj thought that if he could discover the secrets of time travel, then the Sith would be able to claim the galaxy for their own. The first of the two resources was called Bota, and was found on the icy world of Drongar. If Bota was consumed by a Force user, they would experience an increased connection to the Force, as it would temporarily amplify it, and it would make it significantly stronger as well as unstable. Unfortunately though, the plant would decompose very quickly and could only be transported off the planet if frozen in carbonite first. The second resource was a metal called pyronium, which was used to absorb massive amounts of energy and could hold more natural energy than any other resource in the galaxy. It was Ramaj's goal to somehow combine the two of them and use them to achieve near unlimited dark side power contained in a small space. This power he planned to use to fuel something even more sinister. Ramaj also experimented with an alien species called the Cephalons, which had the ability to view the past, present, and future. They had this power due to having multiple brains, which gave them the ability to see the entire galaxy using all four dimensions. Ramaj believed that if he could use the power source of Bota and Pyronium, he could then combine it with the Cephalons and one day unlock the secrets to time travel. All of this information and all of his experiments were recorded on his Sith holocron. Unfortunately though, he would never truly achieve his goals since his apprentice stabbed him in the back and took over as the One Dark Lord of the Sith. However, his holocron was still intact and was eventually lost by his apprentice. Meaning, the research was never continued. Centuries later, Darth Vader would attempt to seek out this holocron in hopes to go back in time and prevent his injuries on Mustafar from ever happening. Vader also wanted to use it to one day destroy his master as well. However, he wasn't successful in finding the holocron, and it would remain lost to the galaxy forever. So that's it for this video, I hope you guys enjoyed, if you did then make sure to hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and leave a comment down below telling us what you think of this Sith Lord. And with all that said, have a great day.